So welcome back everyone, Mike and Melissa here today. We are on our way to Rural King to pick up some dog food and we've got to get a few other things. And uh, they have an RK74 tractor up here. Uh, I was up this way a couple weeks ago and I just kind of did a drive by on it. The thing's a monster. Uh, but today while we're up there I brought the cameras. We're going to kind of go over that tractor and uh, try to learn a little bit about it. You ready to see the RK74? I'm ready. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. What do you think of that? It's a big tractor. It is? Yeah. Like, I'm almost... All right, this is the RK74 PSC, which stands for Power Shuttle Cab Tractor. Melissa's in there reading up on the book. This has a 74 horsepower, four cylinder, turbo diesel, Deutz engine in it. And it has 64 PTO horsepower. The transmission in this tractor has 16 forward and 16 reverse gears. It's a power shuttle with creeper lock. The ones that come with the uh, loader, like this, they come standard with the rim guard and the rear tires. The tractor weighs a little over 6,000 pounds. Uh, the loader, I think, is around 1,800. I don't know how much rim guard is in those tires, but uh, it's it's got to be heavy. I mean, that's a heavy tractor right there. These manuals weren't opened, so I didn't open them to find out. The fuel tank's right there below where you uh, get in the cab. It's a 24-gallon fuel tank. The seat is uh, covered in plastic there, but it's a really nice seat with armrests. That's an adjustable suspension seat. So like I said, this is a power shuttle. This is your clutch right here, brakes, and your accelerators on the other side. Uh, this RK74 does not have a diesel particulate filter. Uh, these Deutz engines, they run them a little bit hotter somehow, and they don't have to have the uh, DPF filter, which I'm sure will make a lot of people happy. A lot of people complain about DPF. I mean, do I agree with it? No. But have I ever had any problems with them? No. But it just is what it is. So the lift capacity on this loader is 3,223 pounds. Now if you remember I did a video a while back uh, on the RK55 picking up that big red oak log. I, I was definitely way over what it was rated at. I don't know if that's the case with this. But this is definitely a much larger tractor and a much bigger loader. The max lift height to the bucket pivot pin is 135 inches, so that's a little over 11 feet. I'm going to fire it up and just uh, run that loader up once.
So if you notice when I was running that loader up and down, it's self-leveling, which is really nice. Uh, that's a really nice feature on this tractor. A lot of people would probably like to see that on smaller tractors. Some people struggle with that. Uh, but yeah, the self-leveling feature is very nice. So this one has uh, three rear remotes right here. These are adjustable. Plus, both sides are adjustable as well, here and here. It's a nice wide stance. You can also control your uh, three-point raise and lower it back here in the back of the tractor, which is really handy when you're changing uh, implements. What am I looking for? <laughs> oh, there, here we go. Got it. <laughs> they have a uh, 84 inch granite grapple for this tractor, which that would be, uh, that'd be pretty impressive. Now I'm gonna get in the cab, maybe running around the parking lot here a little bit. Okay, we're gonna climb up here, go for a little ride. Give you a look around here. My uh, camera lady out there. We're gonna run that loader up while we're in here. Show you that self-leveling feature. That is a long way up there. It's nice. So watch how that bucket comes down. Stays level the entire way. It should be great for when you're loading round bales or you got pallet forks on. That's a really nice feature when you have uh, pallet forks. All right, we'll take it for a little spin. Woo. shuttle you don't have to uh, clutch to go from forward to reverse. I'll show you that in a minute here. Probably quicker than a hydrostat, actually. That's nice. And I feel like going out and plowing some fields or something. It's got the uh, standard quick attach on the bucket, I see. something, wouldn't it?
The loader control is really nice and smooth as well. I mean, real nice. Here's your uh, heat and AC controls. It's just like the RK55. It's got a uh, Kenwood stereo in it with Bluetooth. These windows open. The rear window it opens. That's nice. Just let some air in. Very nice. The loader control is in a really nice spot. Tell you what, this thing is uh, this is a really nice tractor, man. You can just feel the power in this thing. our friend Daryl just stopped by. He was a uh, marine aviator and then flew life flight for several years. Really good guy. I'm telling you what, Melissa, after running that around a parking lot, I want to get home, cut all our trees down, and start farming. Start farming. All right. I'll get my cowboy hat. Let's do it. You want animals. I want animals. I tell you, that is really a nice tractor. It is. I mean, just, man, it's, you can just feel the power. I'd love to have you pulling something behind it. 
but it's got a lot of lights on it as well. If there's four headlights, you got work lights up top there. There's work lights on the back as well. Yeah, that's that's a nice tractor. So yeah, like I said, really nice wide stance on it. Got a connector there for your trailer. Yeah, just kind of lift that up a little bit. It's a really nice seat. Yeah. It's got the uh, RK on the back of it. See that? Yeah, you might as well leave that plastic on. Yeah. I've had equipment at work that I ran, you know, when I was working heavy highway construction. Plastic would be on the seat for <laughs> like six months. Cup holder. Yeah, it's got 12 volt outlets in there, cup holder. Lots of mirrors. Lots of mirrors. I think I went over, so it's got the okay. uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth, heat, AC, sunroof in the top, all the windows open. You want to drive it, Melissa? No. You don't? I know everyone's probably surprised by that. Yeah, this, it's a little intimidating, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big it is traction. very intimidating, and out here where some, somebody could pull up <laughs> and I not see them. <laughs> you just run them right over and I this. mean, there's lots of ways I want to be on the news, but not running over someone with a tractor. Yeah. I'm sure I missed a lot on this tractor, but if you want more information, go to RK Tractors, and there's a button there you can ask the RK Tractor guy. I actually went over that in a uh, video. <laughs> there's a Melissa over there. I actually went over that in a video the other day, uh, but there's tons of information right here at Ask the RK Tractor Guy, and you can find out more info on the RK74 and the other tractors as well. So this RK74 as it sits behind me with the loader, the loaded rear tires, the three rear remotes, everything that I showed you today is I think $43,999, just under $44,000. And just so you know, Rural King did not ask me to do this video. I don't have to do this video. Uh, if you've been following our channel for a while, you know I have a partnership with Rural King. I get to use the RK24, the 37, and the 55. Uh, but they didn't even know I was going to do this video. I just wanted to come check this tractor out. And uh, we really don't have the application for something this big at our property. Although, I'm telling you, go <laughs> home. The Imagine the firewood, like 20, 30 acres, clear it. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, you got cows. We got, oh, it'd be yeah. awesome. This would be the machine. Hit like with. a cowboy hat. Oh, yeah. I quit my job and farm. Would starve to death, but uh, that would be pretty cool trying. I'd like to try. Yeah. It's more tractor for the less the price. Yeah, that's what it says. Uh, but I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll let RK Tractor Guy know that I did this video. He'll know when he gets notification like everybody else. But hopefully he'll answer any questions anybody has. But I'm telling you, just cruising around that parking lot, you just want to put this thing in the dirt. You really do. He's in the cab with a camera. And I'm running this camera we're standing with. And he stops for like the second time because yeah. he just did some circles. And I see him go like this. I'm talking. I talk with my off. hands. But I was like, "Does he need help?" Does he yeah, she help? didn't know what I meant. I wasn't even looking at her. I'm in there talking with my hands. So I just ran and hit under the truck. Yeah. But that uh, self-leveling bucket's very nice, especially on something this big. A lot of people off. struggle with that. I never really had a problem. I know where. Yeah, Melissa <laughs> struggles with that a little bit, keeping that bucket level. But like I said, with pallet forks. Uh, moving round bales and even for moving dirt, uh, self-leveling buckets, very, very nice feature. And uh, but all in all, you know, I think it's a fantastic tractor for that price. I really do. Uh, but like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.